I lived here for 30 years, raised our kids here, and I love this school, and it makes my heart feel good to see it. The football field at Paradise High School holds decades of special memories for Michelle John. Once the principal, then the superintendent, Michelle touched the lives of nearly every student in town. So we brought the line down around here, and there was screaming. I mean, people were just so excited. There were so many people. It's packed. It was here just months after California's deadliest wildfire destroyed much of the town that this community rallied to honor the graduating seniors. The kids have gone through so much trauma. They lost their schools. They lost their friends. They lost their teachers. And if I could have given them any one little gift, that's the only thing they asked for. For Michelle and so many, it was a moment of healing after so many months of pain. Go, 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 go. November 2018. Move, people. A campfire exploded in Paradise, California. This is bad. All those homes I gone. I feel the heat now. Oh my God, the tree's burning right next to us. In the middle of the day, smoke blacked out the entire sky as nearly 30,000 residents tried to evacuate. Heavenly Father, please help us. We're in a neighborhood surrounded by flames. You can see flames shooting out of the roof of this home. And then check out this tree right here. You have flames shooting hundreds of feet up into the air. This entire community is burned to the ground. Everything here is gone. In the days after, search crews scoured through rubble, searching for the missing as the community grappled with the scope of the loss. How difficult is this, of a search is this? It's monumental. Uh, we've never had something to this extent before. Do you think people understand how widespread this damage is? I doubt it. I doubt it. It's, it's gone. It's everybody I know lost everything. It's real sad. The fire would become the deadliest and most destructive in the state's history. 85 lost their lives. Roughly 19,000 homes, businesses, and other structures were destroyed. The fire essentially wiped Paradise off the map. This shopping center is gone. Block after block is filled with devastation, and it will take years to rebuild. November 8th at 7.30 in the morning, this town started to burn down. Within three hours, it was gone. The story of this community now chronicled in a new film, Rebuilding Paradise, from National Geographic. It's not just that I lost my house, it's not that I lost my memories. My entire way of life is completely gone. As hard as it is to say, I don't see the town coming back. A lot of people have left. The hospital's gone. The elementary school's gone. I thought it would get easier as time went on, but it's actually getting harder. Charting the heartbreak and heroism as this small town works to rebuild from the ground up. I love that town, and I'm not going to bail on it now. We're coming back. When I first got to Paradise, it was shocking, very disturbing. It's one thing to see images. It's another thing to actually stand there and just um, sense um, the, 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 the pain. Uh, and and uh, and recognize the devastation not only in what in, in what you're seeing but in people's eyes. Acclaimed director Ron Howard and his team spent more than a year following the community in the aftermath. There was pain everywhere we looked, but there there were also these these signs of uh, of people forgetting about differences and focusing on problem solving and getting things done, and that was inspiring to me. The movie explores the lives of those who chose to stay. Some determined to rebuild. Look at here. He's mine. That's the name on the permit file. <laughs> like one-time mayor Woody Culleton. Thank no you. Problem. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, appreciate it. Yahoo! Town of Paradise permit to build my home at 1552 for a service <laughs> road. I'm jazzed. I fought with the insurance companies. I fought with the town. I did what I had to do to make that happen as quickly as I possibly could. Awesome, man. Awesome. This is it, yeah. This is it, buddy. We're on now. This is the beginning. And I never took some time to sit down and grieve about the fire, uh, the feeling. And that day that we broke ground, that's when it all hit me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it finally caught up with me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's a big deal.
It is a big yeah, deal. Yeah, it's a big deal. Very new big. Home, new beginning. Oh, wow. I didn't know I had all that going on. <laughs> Funny how it catches you, huh? Yeah, well, this patio right here, this whole thing was just brown dirt like up there. Woody and his wife have finished rebuilding, but remnants of the past are never far from their minds. This St. Francis sat right here. It was a four by four post, and it sat right there against the post. And the photograph I have, that's standing there, and everything else is gone. When I see the beginning of the movie, to me, it's not just a movie. I mean, it is one of the more terrifying days of my life. When you watch the beginning of the movie, where did it take you? I, I really appreciate what Ron did and what the editors did in capturing that. That will really give anybody that's never experienced that a real sense of it, of, of the terror. We thought we were going to die, but immediately it's like, um, flips me into the whole thing of hope. I mean, a positive from the fire is that I understand how fragile life is. Tomorrow's not promised. I really wanted audiences to understand on the most personal level um, what it might feel like. This is a film like this is all about creating empathy and understanding and then trying to imagine yourself in that circumstance. When we come back, you are the first generation of Paradise High School graduates to rise from the ashes of what life was glimmers of hope. They just kept saying, I can't believe you did this. I can't believe you did this. Others still unable to return to the life they once had. I've lived through four fires and it's just not something that I can consider risking with my daughter um, again. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.